much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Stitches. It's getting worse. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me this shit. I need some air. You ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are. You can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. I'm sorry I bothered you. You should be. I don't have anyone who will help me. Come on now, don't get upset. Don't get like that. I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious, you gotta go. I got enough problems already. I don't want to get you in trouble. I'm 
already in trouble just talking to you. Sorry I bothered you. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I bought your damn arm. Wish I could help you, but... Try not to die. House meeting in five minutes. Set. Set. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Fine. has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. Connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend. They got attacked. Yeah, right. Whoever she's with. They probably come looking for her. They They said.
clean. I'll still need some bandages, and something to keep it from getting infected. Have this baby. <laughs> supposed to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. What are you reading? A book? What book? I like books. It's called The Gurgles. It's about trans-dimensional body snatchers. Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. Your dad didn't care if it hurt or not. He's willing to let me die. That's not true. Has he let people die before? Well, I... I don't know. Not on purpose. I don't know. You can help, you know. I need something to clean it up, and something to wrap it with. A clean bandage. My dad says we're out of real bandages, but I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this applies. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super old. Yes. We are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. I promise. Me too. Friends. Pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah.
exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. This is gonna suck. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm fine. Now the fun part. Now, just like last time, just how Krista showed me. Ah! <sighs> 
Holy shit. What the? How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? The shed should have been safe. I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How's she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. She knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there. She would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. It's ugly. No, it ain't that bad. It's better than a stump. Yeah, better than a stump. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're 
pretty much on your own. What's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. He got bitten, protecting me. And I had to kill him before he turned. Wow. I had to. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Luke invited me to stay. Good for him, but that's not how things work around here. We make decisions as a group, and you're wearing out your welcome. You got what you came here for. Now go. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her. What's her problem? Yeah, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. 
Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Cause you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. You should tell him that. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet. But it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. 